here's what these guys are going to do, okay? Here's what they're going to do. So, I, I've tried this, and he's pulled back, and by golly, he, I lost my grip, okay? So this is like plan B, okay? So if, especially on a strong heavyweight, okay, like a bigger guy. So he pops free here, but now notice that what I'm going to do now is just dive in. I'm going to swim in with my hands, lock in. I can either body lock, grab and grab, whatever. But see, this leg here depends on his. If he was like sideways like that, I'd do more of a hooking movement. But if he, if I were more sideways, like lateral to him, and he popped away free, I could swing in here like this. And see, I've got my hips really low and catch, and I could just then sweep, kind of a Tani Otoshi type movement. So can I have you guys demo that here? So what happens is. He's tried that and he's pulled it free, right? He's popped it free, okay? There it is. I mean, that's, that is the batch right there, okay? Now, watch it, pop it free, catch, and there we go. And it's kind of a Tani Otoshi chair throw. It's a classic chair throw from Sambo because he's sitting down and taking, or he could add a thigh sweep to it. One more time, do it kind of slow, we'll construct it. So, so he's pulled it back. And watch, dive, catch. Now, how you catch is totally up to you guys. If you're in a no-gi situation, you might body lock him. It's like for wrestling, okay? Or MMA or something, okay? But if you've got a gi, you could do this. Or you got to grab here, you can grab here. you got a high and a low grip, okay? But nonetheless, you're tight-waisting him. You know, could be a very tight grip, you know, around the waist. And now, see how, and he, you might even sweep or just slide your legs backwards. That's, but the key thing here, and look at Derek's head, right is turn around here so they can see the camera. When he dives in, his head, the right side of his head, is right up here in this pec area. So he's got a high control point, and he's got a lower control point. And he's going to get a lower control point because he's going to sweep under him, under his center of gravity. So that's why this throw really works, is that's a muscle-bound thing, okay? And you finish, so, so one more time from that angle so they can see it. So he pulls back, there you go, boom. And you might have even, let's do it again where he's pulled back. You, you've gone for the far arm and he's pulled it back. So you've gone for his, he pulls his right arm back. Bam. So there you go. Either way, okay? So when he, when he comes, I tend to do it this way. He comes around the side, which either way is work. But when he pops free, I, I'm going to die. Okay. Catch like that. That's, that's what I was showing. And I know you were coming the other way, which works just as fine. So those work well. You want to try that to just demo? So he pulls back, bam, there you go. Wham. So it's, it's really a Tani Otoshi, valley drop, um, um, chair throw, any of that stuff. So if he, because he could pull it free. And then you don't have any upper body, upper grip control. So now you have to control what you've got. You've got his shoulders, but you've really got his hips. You want to always control those hips, guys, because that's the center of the universe in throwing, especially in ground fighting, too, what we do. And once he's done it, and then he goes under the center of gravity and top, takes him down and throws him. We good? Let's try that as a, as a secondary thing to that cross-body Osoto we did. And this is a good thing if he does pop the grip and kill the grip on you, and he can go for it. Okay? All right, let's go get it.